to my channel today will be the amula in wolof anglas all the languages of course welcome like the videos comment share to sponsor my channel it's easy all you need to do is to watch my videos and watch my ads or at least watch some of my ads i would have to say that thank you so much hi guys welcome to my channel sorry i keep speaking money and all the languages and this channel so yeah, I'm going to be talking about the life of Juliet, you know, like this Gambia. Yes, it's Gambian. That's the UK, British, black, I mean, black British <laughs> who moved to Gambia 
and i love her i always watch her right she's amazing and she and other people that move to gambia and they're like talking about the goods and bad but they're not like putting us down and like insulting us they are the reason why i even want to move back to gambia they're motivating people to go back to africa and well done to them so yeah i saw that uh juliet herself she's been fighting to get the citizen steps you know just like the way is you know everything went in ghana so easily and people have their citizen steps you know they will come back home and i feel a bit let down that this is not happening you know with the gambian community sadly i topic i topic i did a couple of topics which i mentioned that this would give the people that are coming back home a free nationality but i want to talk about it today again after i saw her talking after the parliament made this decision rejecting the new plans and of course they're gonna be affected i don't know if they were included in this new plan i didn't know much about this new plan because i don't want to read it all you know knowing that they rejected it's gonna just pain me more you know but i think if she's not included in this new plan if they are citizenship is not included then she's just still not happy the fact that they're not giving them it's like they're holding them back you know like they're just like holding on to the citizenship like huh you know people i do speak about this in my language for so long i do talk about how senegalese people are treated in gambia sometime and asking them something called alliance i don't know if they're still paying that now growing up in gambia i in gambia in jamis time and even jawara's time but i'm not sure how it was how uh, if it was still happening in jawara's time because i was young Jamie time is when I become a young adult. I think I was still under 18 then when Jamie took over. But it's when I start remembering properly, you know, like. But I remember this, they keep asking, the, you know, the, the, the Senegalese people to pay this alliance thing. And if the immigration, like, find them and they've not paid for it, they don't have the valid one. They have one that is expired or they don't have the card to prove they have one. They normally will arrest these people and put them in a truck and just treat them really harsh and even beating them sometime for running away when they're arresting them or something. Or sometimes we'll be telling them, I have it, it's at home, I just don't have it with me, you can't arrest me, I'm at work. And they're still like, you're going. So they're arresting them like they kill somebody, like a criminal, you know. And they've not been doing that to Gambians in Senegal over the years, you know. And this this always was, was a big embarrassment for me growing up in Gambia. I always used to hate this. I always used to say that these countries are one. Whenever anything happens, it's Senegal that have to help us. You know, because the 1981 coup, I couldn't remember anything. I was a baby. I was just like a couple of months old. But I grew up in Gambia hearing the history of how Senegal helped us with the coup. And now I also grew up seeing that whenever something bad happened over the years, People have to run to Senegal because we only have Senegal and the ocean. We cannot go to the ocean, obviously. So we supposed to learn to take Senegal like a one big family. But there's a lot of Gambians actually who cannot stand Senegalese. And also you have some Senegalese who cannot stand Gambians. But according to my knowledge, it's more Gambians who cannot stand Senegalese. And now calm down if you are Gambian before you jump up, right? Just calm down. This is Ami's page. Last time. To be honest, I think that a lot of my followers, they're not people that just quickly jump on her body. If you are, you cannot watch me. Because you know me. So, if you're watching me, unless you're new, that's mean you're, you're somebody who calm, who is calm, you know. You, you're at peace with life and yourself, you know. You don't allow little things to get you. So, I'm hoping you are like that. So, let's take a deep breath. Okay, so I saw Senegal as Gambia, not just because my great, my grandparents are from Senegal, you know, like both my mom's side and my, and my dad's side. It's not because of that. It's also because a lot of Senegalese are like me. They, they, their generations are from Senegal, a lot of Gambians, sorry. And also, 
Okay, now let's come back to why I said a lot of Gambians don't like Senegalese more than how a lot of Senegalese don't like Gambia. According to my knowledge, according to what I see. I'll tell you why I said that, okay? It's because a lot of Senegalese are in Gambia working. That's, that's the number one reason. Gambian people are known. We are known for not wanting to take just any job. We are known for either running, run away to come to abroad or work in the bank or office, but we don't like little jobs. Everybody knows that. That's what a lot of us, lot of us do even abroad. So, Senegalese, they will come and they will do all the little jobs because most of the Senegalese, they don't mind about how little the job is as long as it's giving them income. And then they will progress and they will get better. And then a lot of the Gambians kind of like get jealous. They feel like the Senegalese are taking over the country, doing all the, the big jobs and the little jobs. Um, it just get messy sometimes. You also have some Senegalese who just look at Gambians down, the fact that we don't like to do many jobs, you know, and the fact that we just rather marry an old white person and travel to Europe like Amiju than working, like doing certain job. Nowadays, you have Senegalese doing that too, but not many. It's still more Gambian thing than Senegalese. They still come to Europe, but they come to Europe like the, the back way or like the normal way you call it, like marrying somebody that is not like a old white person, like the way a Gambian person will easily do it. Like I say, Senegalese still do it now and just all over the world now doing it. All these poor countries, I mean, doing it. But it's more of a Gambian thing to marry an old person to come to Europe than a Senegalese thing. If they're doing it, then we introduce it to them. And that's the reality. It could be also because more tourists come to our country because it's a, it's a um English country. And it's the smallest country in the Africa. So we do have a lot of tourists coming because of that. That's just the reality. It's embarrassing, but hey, this is life. Let's just tell the truth. <laughs> so, <laughs> and then you also have the. Let me look for my play, uh, my my background and um, playlist, my fan of playlist. So yeah, so that is one of, one of the number one reason. And also, you have some Senegalese who come to Gambia to to, to work and live there. But like I said, they look us down and they will say like, these Gambians are lazy. They don't like to work. They just rather marry old person like Amiju and go to Europe. And they just like laugh at the way we like. Now Senegal are doing it too. But most of our boys, to be honest, and now they're introducing it to the girls, which is worse. They like to just smoke weed and do dreadlocks and talk like a Jamaican. Yeah, man. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, man. Me not want to go to Babylon, man. Yeah, man. And that's not very common in Senegal at all. But now they're copying us, sadly. Or they're copying the Jamaicans too, like the way that our boys copy them a lot. But they're doing it too now, sadly, to be honest. But Senegal now have a lot of drugs and weed and wearing dreadlocks, trying to smoke weed like a Jamaican or whatever. But long time ago, the only people that wear dreadlocks in Senegal are the people that are the Bifal people. Like... I come from the Bifal people too on my mom's side. Like, not Bifal, but from Tuba. But um, they have these Tuba people, these Bifal people. I dress like that sometimes. I've not done it for a while now. I'll do it again soon. I love it. And they have this Bifal jewelry stuff, you know, and just have Bifal dreadlocks and stuff. And it's nice. I'm going to dress like one soon. And I'm going to make a little speak about it. And why they dress like that, you know, like stuff like this. So, um, but um, it was more of a Gambian thing, you know, to just wear these dreadlocks, you know, and smoke weed and, you know, like, you know, like the bombs are thing and just, you know, like, so it was more of a Gambian thing for the Gambian person to finish high school and stay home waiting to get to Europe and end up even smoking weed and, 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 and wearing dreadlocks. But many of them that finish school will not normally like just jump into drugs and stuff not, not, not that nothing is wrong with the dreadlocks my son had dreadlocks it's beautiful my son is 11 but he had dreadlocks for a couple of years now so i'm just explaining the history you know so um but it was more of a people that didn't go to school grew up like the way i was brought up in gambia so they would just wear dreadlocks and start smoking weed and just start getting stressed about poverty or something you know yeah man this country have no job, man. 
yeah man me i want to go to babylon man me not want to go to babylon because normally when people come here even if they didn't go to school in africa they can go to school here if they want and just learn the language and just try to like get a job cleaning job or whatever and try to make it slowly you know but also some people come here and they're doing a really dirty job and making quick money and building nice houses and when people that didn't go to school see that they're like oh if this, this person can travel and start making this money quickly by working because they're going to tell you that they're working normal job of course so then it makes people just want to come to europe you know i explained this before so it was more known for Gambian to do that, you know, like more of a Gambian boys thing. But then the, the Gambian, some of the Gambian girls are copying that now, you know. So it was kind of making the Senegalese to laugh at us now, you know, like they still, some of them still do that's just the reality because they think like we are like Jamaicans, you know, or what? We're not like Gambians. We are like Jamaicans or whatever, you know, like dreadlocks, smoking weed and, you know, like. And then a lot of our men also, especially these boys that smoke weed, they definitely like to talk like Jamaican and listen to Jamaican music all the time. I don't know why. Not that I don't like Jamaican music, but you have to be who you are too. Rest I got soul. Reggae music rocking my bone. My bone is never getting old. Reggae music more and more. Ding, 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 ding. I love reggae music, okay? I don't listen to it all the time, but I I I love this reggae soul one. Or just other ones that I can't even remember them, but I've not listened to them for a while now, by the way. But I don't mind a nice good reggae sometime, okay? But I don't listen to it all the time or listen to anything all the time and try to be that thing. Or living my life to be that thing. Because whatever you listen to all the time, if it's good or bad, it's going to influence you. Sadly, aren't we amazing creatures as human beings? Anyway, moving on. So, because Senegal and Gambia have this little history that I explained, we still do have good, loving history, though. So, don't worry. But because we have this little history that I explained, I don't know why I can't talk this morning. I mean, talking, but can't talk, you know. So, then... It's like a lot of the Gambian boys don't like the fact that there's a lot of Senegalese there working and making money. And some of them make beautiful houses in Senegal that even us abroad don't have houses like that in Gambia. And they make it from Gambia, of course. So a lot of them don't treat us well, some of them, to be honest, because the way we treat them, you just get the treatment that you give. A lot of them will hear people saying that this grand, this grand, Garayi is like, Garan is normally a Senegal man that people call Garayi. Senegal man will call the other person Gara. I think it's a French thing. They will say this Gara, you know, this Senegalese, they, they, they ruin the country, man. Da, da, da. And sometimes they'll be like, this Nigerians or this da da da. Gambia is full of, full of other foreign people too, by the way. I think why it's full of these foreign people that are Africans and, you know, Chinese, Lebanese, whatever, it's because we don't know how to value what we got and appreciate it and develop it. We just run away or we just sit down doing nothing. That's the reality. That's what a lot of us do. There are some hardworking people in our community though, but they find it very difficult because no one support them. No one wants to support anyone that is doing good. Hardly ever. If it's like 10 Gambian, maybe two will support you if you're lucky that is. So I don't know why it's like a cost to us. It's so bad that if you, when you support people, they call you hypocrite for supporting people. They say you don't mean it, you're just doing it. God, they're not, used, they're not used to nobody doing it. So, <laughs> bless us. So, um, so, because this thing is between Gambia and Senegal, you know, then uh, they, they, they also compare themselves saying that Senegalese people, they're not, um, Gambians are not in Senegal working, like the way Gambi Gam um, Senegalese are in Gambia and work. They, they always will say sometimes, when you go to Gambia, I mean, the Gambians will say, when you go to Gambia, some Gambians will say, I hear it before, not long ago even. They will say, when you go to Gambia, you will see a lot of Senegalese walking there in the markets everywhere you go. Every field you go is full of Senegalese. But then when you go to Senegal, you don't see Gambians doing it. No one is stopping the Gambians from doing it. They're just not going to do it in Gambia, not to, not to mention in Senegal. They don't want to do it. No one is stopping them. Hello. 
the tiny Gambians that want to do it, they're doing it. My sister used to go to Senegal and buy stuff and bring it to Gambia and sell it. And I have a cousin who does that and other people doing it. But if you don't want to do it, you don't want to go to Senegal market and, and have a shop there because you don't want to move to Senegal and start selling little things from nothing and develop yourself to have a shop. That's not the Senegalese fault. If the Senegalese choose to come to Gambia and start selling from nothing and develop themselves to end up having a shop in your market or owning business, you cannot just say that when you go to my country, you, you're not going to see me. But when you're here, I'm seeing you. Who say these things? Anyway, like I said, some Gambians, not all, but some are jealous of the Senegalese doing wonderful job in Gambia, doing good things for themselves. And that's the reality. Sorry about any, anyone who is jealous of them. I'm going to find this angry. If you are not jealous of them, do not find it angry. Angry. Hey, do not find it annoying. Remember, I said there are some who are jealous of them. So don't be among those by commenting, wasting your keyboard mouth arguing about this topic. This is just Amiju. I'm just being me. Okay. So, yeah. So I just always didn't like the fact that Gambians treat Senegalese like that, some of them. And some Senegalese also treat us the way they treat us. I always don't like it. And then I also don't like the way I'm, our immigration was treating the Senegalese. I think they're still doing all these years. And I'm, why I can't talk this morning? I can't stop talking, but I can't talk. You know, like, you know when someone talk a lot but they can't talk because they're not making sense or they're causing problem rather or just like I'm you on Akati. Anyway, so yeah, what was I'm saying again? So yeah, I explained this little history so you know that Gambia have a history of refusing the, the, the citizens, you know, their rights. Sorry, the 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 the, the, the yeah, they refuse the citizen their right too. What am I talking about? Yeah. But I wasn't meaning the citizen this time. I was meaning the foreign people. Foreign people as close as Senegalese. When three quarter, I think if not all, then 95% of Gambians are originally from Senegal. Or one of their parents. Or one or their one of their grandparents. And if they can't do that to them, to ask them for something called Aliyah, they have to pay every six months. And it wasn't cheap. And they have to keep having this card. And when it's expired, you have to have it or you get arrested. And they take them to jail. Keep them there for three days, two days, sometimes one week. Until somebody they know will come and pay. Or give the police some money to bribe them, to let them go. It was disgraceful growing up looking at that. So the Gambia government also is very good. All of the Gambia government that we have so far, by the way. Like, for example, Yajame and this government. Because that's when we start knowing what we want, you know, from Yajame and this government. Jawara time, it was more of a just calm down. And it wasn't, it wasn't more of a like, we want this, we want that. Well, I couldn't remember much about it. But anyway, so they're very good at ignoring what we want. Us, the citizens, not to mess on anybody else. So don't worry, you're not alone with this pain. But what I always want to ask all these African presidents, and I'm hoping that I will talk about this properly. I hope that I will just be able to focus on this and speak about this particular one. This is important, people. Less than this is important. Yes, the African presidents all over the world and all these third world countries in general. Africa or not. Why is it that they always don't want to welcome all of other foreigners in their country, give them citizenship or give them a resident permit to stay there peacefully like they're getting it abroad? This is what I don't understand. All of your children are all over the world because you let them down so much that they're all over the world. People feeding them housing them, looking after them for you, for something that is your job. You're not embarrassed. You're not ashamed. You have the God to refuse all the people tiny freedom in your country, which is to give them a resident to live there. Even though you're not going to feed them, you're not going to house them, you're not going to do nothing for them. Just to give them a resident permit, you cannot, even, if you, even though they're helping you. These people that are coming from America and UK, and all these Western countries moving back to Africa. 
they are coming to help you. And you still have the God to face them this. What is this? Even though you as Adam Baro, you yourself, you're worse. You know why? Because you were here in UK, working as a security guard, surviving here. You know how it is when you live somewhere else and you don't have the right document. You should be the number one president, you know, that will do this quickly. And you are delaying these people. How dare you? Now, quickly find a body and give these people their, their documents right now. I'm telling you this, Adam Abaro, you don't want me to start making video for you every day. Now, let's talk about the person that is also making this resident thing difficult for you guys in Gambia. Apart from Adam Abaro. The person is Art Kati. The one and only Art Kati. <sighs> of course, I'm so you know that. Last time. Art Kati is making life difficult for you guys to have any resident in Gambia. Because Gambia is new to black americans or black british coming back home taking gambia as their home and living there and even seeing it publicly they used to just people coming on holiday going or maybe buy a house there because they like the country and going and coming and when they retire they just come and sit down and stay there and that's it they're not used to people like i'm coming back home this whole coming back home thing is a new thing but if these people like Art Kati come and be like a angry, stressed, depressed, miserable mother shouting on their children, this is not going to help. When she come and she's like, I'm, I'm a joke, when her children make her angry, the way she talk, and worse than that, that's not going to help. That's not going to make you guys have precedence. Just saying, she's delaying you guys, 100%. The way she's doing that, if she was in another country with you guys and you're waiting for resident and she do that, you will still be delayed. This one. Not just Adam Abaro who will delay you. I don't think it's him himself, but I, he's the president. I feel like if he won, you will get it straight away. That's why I, I use him. But who else can delay you? Anyway, if you were in Uganda or any, or any country in the world, Guinea, Uganda, Mali, Senegal, Nigeria, anywhere in the world, hmm? I am so even that Ghana, if, if Art Kati was the one that was doing these videos, hmm, there, well, what's this doing to us? While you're waiting for your document, while you're waiting, I am so she will delay it. Let's just be honest there. Think if you are a president or you are in the government in any country hmm, and you have people coming home, huh, even though it's their home, but they behave in like the way Art is doing. Imagine if you be celebrating it and like, yeah, these people are good. They're ready to work with us and they're good people. Let's give them residence to stay. Let's just be real. Any country in the world that have foreigners, hmm, they always, they have different category foreigners, different people from different land. Huh? They always don't like the ones that cause in trouble more. That's the reality. Every country want to have foreigners. That coming, I don't want to call you guys foreigners. You're not foreigners. But I'm using this for example. So I'm not calling you foreigners. So don't think I'm calling you foreigners. You guys are not foreigners. I'm using this example. When you have people coming home or foreigner or whatever you call them, right? You're going to just not want the ones that are causing trouble. Let's just be reality. Let's just speak the truth. If you don't want to kick them out, you're going to delay them if you can because you're scared. You know, and you're gonna think that if this one can do this, is that mean all of them are like this? They're just waiting to sew their color, you know, like so. You're not so, you're like, you see, because all this is new. Let's just be, let's just tell the truth. As much as I'm not happy with this government, I'm thinking people like Art is not helping because the, the government is definitely watching her or the government people. If Adam Baro not watching Art, then definitely the older government people is watching her because they watch YouTube, they have Wi Fi. And the Gambian community on YouTube is very tiny. The moment you watch one video, all the rest is going to suggest it to, to you. Especially the way art, everybody's talking about art. 
We all know that people are brought here, which is why for us the raising of children here is difficult because people are brought here, they have different mind from us, you know. So sometimes they talk rude and talk more forward and so more, so no respect and emotions. And we are very African, we're not used to that. Even though us abroad, you can see we find it offensive. Someone like me, I've been here for 14 years, but I'm still condemning her. Not to mention people that never even traveled abroad. They're not used to this kind of attitude. They find it very rude and insane. They don't care if you're their own daughter. They will treat you the same. They don't want it. So, the way art is going, is going to delay you guys, I think. I think if she continue, she might delay you more. I don't even know if she changed now, if it's going to make any difference, but... It's not that I think she will ever change. She seems very narcissistic to ever change. She's not changing for Gambian. She's changing for herself. But she won't do it. She's too narcissistic. You can see it in her. But I'm telling you, she's going to delay you. She's the only thing that's delaying you now for the, as, as long as I, uh, you know, as, as long as uh, uh, that's the only thing I can think that is delaying you now. Because this government knows that you're doing well. But I want to tell this government that they shouldn't just look at art and delay you. They should look that you have all the good people. You seem very good anyway because it's not only her doing video. There's a lot of you that are doing video and you're just normal and good people. And you talk about the good and bad in Gambia like we do with a normal mind, normal behavior. So they shouldn't just look at the way art is going and putting us down and insulting us like we are nothing, calling us all kind of horrible names in the world and just punish you for that. I think you don't deserve that. I think they should give you all your residence. If they want, they, they can they can ban art alone and tell her you're not allowed the residency if she will want it anyway. Because your attitude is not allowed. Every country has every right to tell someone that your attitude is not allowed here. So you're not allowed a resident permit or whatever. Because even in Europe here, if you want to have a resident permit, you have to follow the rules and be good citizens. If you do bad citizen behavior, they can refuse your application. But for you guys that are good whoa, and you have to be punished because of art, I think that's very wrong. So Gambia government, hurry the hell and give these people their, their document. It's embarrassing and shaming to see them complaining about this document. I hope that they're going to give you guys your citizenship. And yeah, we're all watching. If they're not going to give you guys, we're going to keep on doing videos for the government and we're going to do really harsh videos for them. So they can give you guys your documents. They have to give it to you. Okay? You deserve it. You're going to develop the country. And we can already see what you, you guys are doing. And I know that you guys can develop the country. You can do a big impact. So you need a document development or not. You're coming back home. This is where you, your great-grandparents are from. You're coming back. You need the, the, the right citizens to stay there. Even for us that are not from here, they give us the right citizen. Not to mention that you guys that are from there. This is embarrassing, assuming disgraceful so they need to give you guys a document and i wish you guys good luck and yeah it's gonna happen guys just be patient it's gonna happen whatever is keeping them it's gonna happen soon inshallah thank you for watching this video see you guys again soon and yeah take care bye